All right, M21 draft. It looks like they increased the time for this pick. There may have been a lot of complaints, but now we know how to do it. Anyway, we'll reserve Bossery's Lieutenant. This card is great. It's also really good if you can get into like a red-white deck and sacrifice creatures. Or like a red or a green white deck that puts 1-1 one, one counters on things. We are passing Grasp of Darkness, Turret Ogre, Cultivate, Drowsing Pteranodon, Gormand. And those look like the best things to me. So we're passing a lot of green. Selfless Savior, it's good. Volcanic Geyser, pretty good. And then Pride Mulkin, if we really want to go in that direction. Volcanic Geyser. I feel like if we wanted to be really aggressive, this could be something we want. But it's really heavy red. But then again, Pride Mulkin is pretty heavy green. And Selfless Savior, I'm just not even sure that's going to be great in a deck like this. Um, I'm going to take Volcanic Geyser. Okay, maybe we finally get to play this. Oh, Bossery's Acolyte might be too good. Let's reserve that. Haste 2 3. And then all of your two power stuff can just get in for free. And that's good. But I think Bossery's Acolyte is better since we have the Lieutenant here. I think it's going to be better. Another geyser? Whoa. X damage to any target. It's expensive to do three damage, but it's instant and it can kill players. We could also just take Hobble Fiend. But I think we're going to take these geysers and try to make that work somehow. Everything in our deck costs four or more right now. We could abandon the geysers. I'm not that all in on them. But it's a nice top end. Oh no. We really want Tyranidon. Containment Priest doesn't do much. The Chorister's probably fine. But with all this Pteranodon stuff. I mean, with all this, like, Bossery's Lieutenant stuff, I think Pteranodon's perfect here. Pride Mulkin's perfect. Roaming Ghostlight is potentially even better. Yeah, well, when, when the deck starts to call for it, so I could have had, what, another Pride Mulkin over a Geyser? It's worth speculating early because there's just so many powerful cards in in these sets. The other thing is we could have been we could end up green or yeah green red. With um, just expensive stuff. The ghoul is nice. Shock versus Wizardry. Yeah, not much left here. Take a shock. Wrong color. Hobble Fiend could be it, though. Just be a Naya deck. So Tessin Training, that works with some of this stuff, and Turret Ogre is pretty good. This 
to test some training. One problem green has is getting its creatures to hit. But I think Turret Ogre is just what we want in the green ferocious deck. Dub. Not amazing, but probably fine. We get a watchdog back. It's a good sign. Because I think we've been cutting cutting this deck, the white deck, pretty well. It's still our most powerful stuff. Shieldmate versus short sword. Let's take. It's actually kind of tough, but I'll take short sword. It's another thing that can help these pteranodons. It's looking more and more like white red still. Whoa, Chromatic Orrery. Let me check that price. I don't think it's worth too much. Oh, it's worth a few tickets. Draw a card for each color among permanents you control. So we're going to have three colors. This is super expensive. We're not giving up on too much to take it. Except this Pride Mulkin. Uh, I think the value drafter in me just wants to take it here, and we might end up doing something with it. For instance, with these geysers. Oh, yes. Plan assembled. I can't not take it. I've got to take it now. Patrician. <laughs> that could be good here. And then Visionary, now that we're really trying to get this orrery going. The other option is just the Speaker, which will be good almost no matter what. But I think on its own it doesn't do much, and we really want to ramp now that we have the orrery. Yeah, let's take Visionary. Let's do it. Another Pteranodon. These Pteranodons are pretty much perfect in our deck, and they let us survive early. Kinetic Augur is really good. All these lands are going to be good, but I think I'm on the Pteranodon train. Ascension? It's a fine card. Swift Response would be better if we were more white, but I think our white Cards are limited now. Take another Pteranodon, whatever. Oh, I should not have been taking dinosaurs. I should have been taking cats and dogs here. Animal Sanctuary. I think we'd take that this time. It pumps up Pride Mulkin. It pumps up Watchdog. Let's grab it. Sanctum of All. That's too bad. Orrery can help get it, but we just don't have any other shrines. Too bad. Like, gain 8 life. No, thank you. Valorous Steed, probably fine. There we go. Well, there's a Sanctum. And I think this one is better than usual. So I might just grab it here. Better than usual in this deck. Yeah, let's get another Sanctum here. Are we finally doing it? We're doing the Sanctum deck. Take Bloodfell Caves. We might get the black Sanctum or this. This is good too. Highlands is back, and the Kinetic Augur, which oh, is so good, but not at its best in this deck. <laughs> don't know. I wonder if we'll get that Sanctum of All back. Still wouldn't be good enough, unless we literally got one of each Sanctum. Add five mana. This card is crazy. 
Arsonist is a nice little blocker early, but whatever. This is shaping up to be an interesting draft, if not an amazing one. Double vision. Could you imagine copying Volcanic Geyser? Can you even imagine? That might be too silly. That might be a little too crazy. Now these 1-1 one -one counters, they can be good. And immolator seems fine. Or just Scorching Dragonfire. I don't think we have enough to warrant double vision. Oh, just too bad. Let me take Dragonfire. Tempting to take this, but I think we're happy enough taking Visionary. Even Swift Response would be okay here. Aha! The Incinerator. That seems, it seems like we can point all our shocks and geysers at them and then kill their creatures while we're at it. And if we can get back this little sanctum, it makes it even better. Oh no, this doesn't hit players. I don't see, yeah, Incinerator's in a weird spot, but I think it's still good here. Actually, maybe I just want this Sanctum. Then we'll have one of each. Discard our extra lands. The Incinerator's just good, though. I mean, it, it's a six mana dinosaur. We just don't get to, yeah, we don't get to make it any cheaper. Not really. Hunter's Edge, hard to complain about this, especially with the Pteranodons. What's this? Reach Hexproof from blue. Whenever it's dealt damage, one life and a sapperling. Hmm. I mean, sure, just randomly destroy a blue deck. I'm down with that. So random. Way too many cards here, but let's keep taking them. Wind Scarred Crag, that's about perfect, isn't it? Hmm. The Battle Rattle Shaman, that is a, a good answer to these Pteranodons. Take a land, though. Furious Rise. Sure. We might not play it, but it's nice to have it. Mutt for the sideboard. It's so easy to draft a whole deck without getting any equipment removal, enchantment removal, and they can be super important. Thrill should be nice. Okay, we do get the training. I think it's worth playing here. I think all of this stuff is worth playing, which is going to be a problem. Probably not these two, but we do have a little bit of fixing for black, but I think we just want to ignore it for now. Apparently life goes on. 
So what is our big focus? Our big focus is ramp into these geysers. I'll leave out short sword because we seem to have better options. But I do want... the few cats we have for the sanctuary. Are we missing anything? We're missing the mutt. Unicorn, and it makes a knight. The Sanctum Passage, or Package. Not sure we really want that. And I don't think we want Furious Rise here either, with a couple Turret Ogres. It's not enough. 25, it's still 25 cards. The best part about this is the fact that it helps the other two sanctums. It doesn't do all that well on its own. X damage to target creature or planeswalker where X is the number of shrines you control. It makes all our lands into shocks or something. Cut a turret ogre. Nah, we, we need those for the pteranodons. And we need all this stuff that helps pump them. I think we have to cut it. All these cards look good. We might just be able to cut all our sanctums. And then play Rambunctious Mutt. Is that crazy? It's a dog. It's a 3-4, which isn't awful. And then it helps out the sanctuary. So how do we win with this deck? Uh, the Sanctums are more and more appealing. And this is like any color, right? Yeah, I think we want all of the Sanctums, but that means we do need some cuts. I could see cutting the Spider, because the Turret Ogre is like a better version of that in this deck. Thrill. What's really good? Too much, too much in this deck. Too many good cards. But we want lots of lands. I think I think this is fine. 
I think I'm going to cut Spore Web Weaver and then put that in for something over, over whatever else. So now we have some ramp, we have some extra lands maybe to discard to Shattered Heights. It sucks to cut Thrill, because that's so good in decks like this. Well. Geyser deck. I'm gl glad we're getting to do that. 994. We go six six five for starters. Cut two of each of these. We can't go down too low on white. I think we want more green, so I'll cut this for sanctuary. Oh wait. Hold on, I screwed that up. That is six. I think five is okay. So that'll be six, 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 seven, five. Seven, six, five. All of our white cards are kind of late. We could cut the watchdog but it makes Animal Sanctuary that much better. Maybe we cut that for Thrill. And the Acolyte, I mean the Acolyte is the main reason to play this. Nah, no, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the Watchdog. We just have so few options that each one becomes that much more important. And I'm already not playing the Mutt. Five, six, seven, six, five. Only six red sources, but we have Sanctum, which is like a seventh source and a sixth source. And we have the orrery for the ultra late game. Oh, I really want thrill. Discard our extra white sources. I could cut a pteranodon for thrill. There's got to be something. Could cut a training for thrill. Seven six five, yeah, weird. And I mean, I, I guess all the turn to slags and geysers are supposedly really late. Not the best mana base. No. Um, no arena drafts on on YouTube. That was just a weird format they have on here now. A supreme draft. Where is it? Yeah, it's basically like a phantom draft where you open 18 packs of like random Ravnica sets. And do it to it. Thrill of Possibility. I guess we just won't play Thrill of Possibility. And like all our lands are important, so that gets worse. I'll play first here. 
Good deal. Yeah, pretty good deal here. Lucky draft number 13 here. Do I, the, the double color things I have are like late game red things. Maybe we just play this. Now I feel like I have no cards left and I don't. Nice. That's a reason to play my mountain. Yep, that's getting shocked. Nice. We are ramping up. Yeah, I guess that's our double red. We just need double white and we can cast anything in our deck. <laughs> we even have the ogre to block this flyer. Is that what we want? Now what we want. Next turn we'll have six, so we can do Visionary and Sanctum. So getting out the Turret Ogre actually looks pretty good here. Which means we might as well attack. Oh, playing a playing a mean game over there. <laughs> yeah, usually it's right to block that kind of nonsense. They don't care about their two mana one two flyer. All right, no mana for them. I'm definitely going to start with visionary because we might get something even better than the sanctum. And I don't mind attacking here, right? That's got to be true. And I'll have infinite mana next turn. So the mana with this, two mana, I can use, and this costs four now, I can use to just tap down a blocker, canopy stalker. Must be blocked if able. Yeah, so let's add double red. Oh, it's two of any one color? Fair, I mean, I don't care about that. I'm tempted to use... Blue? I don't know, what... what? I'm tempted to use... um. Dragon fire on, or turn to slag on this, so we can blow out one of these when they block, when they double block something. One, two, three. And we can just tap whatever else they play. When it dies, gain one life for each creature that died. Fair enough. So I'll attack with all of these. And I think they'll want to double block one of the visionaries. And then we just kill, I don't know, the Pegasus. Because we don't have any flyers. Nice. <laughs> we don't have any cards left, but we also can tap down two things a turn and attack in for four a turn. So that's good. Hold on. Tap target creature. Yeah, it's not Icy Manipulator or something. Yeah, that worked. 
It was almost too easy. Yeah, almost too easy. Hold land, lands for Sanctum. That's a thought. But we also want like seven mana, <laughs> so that's another thought. It doesn't look like we need Rambunctious Mutt, but I'm, sh I'm sure they have some target for it. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I know, I, I couldn't resist taking these fireballs, and once I had them, I couldn't resist taking the orrery. Just, uh, I just couldn't resist. All right, I'll keep this. Most of our mana in the deck is green and red, so yeah, see? See how easy it is? Later, MT. Have a nice lunch. Uh, we'll be we'll be one and zero when you get back. Hopefully. Ooh, a sleepy pteranodon. Now I don't know what to play. Well, the the watchdog doesn't do much, except let us make it a three three next turn if we really want to. The Hobble Fiend is going to be good later. Uh, I'll go with the Watchdog. It gives us the most flexibility. Hopefully they don't just attack with Tyranodon this turn. And they might. And goodness knows they might. Nope, they're not! And they didn't draw land? Okay, they did draw land. They do have blue. Funny deck. Yeah, gotta just ramp here. Because we're never gonna be able to play anything. Oh, nice. Bossery's lieutenant. We're never gonna be able to play anything if we don't have the mana to. If we just keep using Sanctuary, and then we claw up to five lands to play a Hobble Fiend. This is a bit better. Hey, I can't block that. But I think I do bring in my protection from blue card just in case they have some, I don't know what they'd have, but something. They'll have something, surely. Yeah, I mean, the sooner we get out Orrery, the better. Also, I'm tapping like fool. We need to tap better than this. Tap with the visionary. Then we'll have red left over for the hobble fiend. Then we'll have orrery plus turn to slag next turn. That's how you win games of magic. Oh, phew, they're tapping the vine. I thought they were going to swift vengeance the visionary and mess up all my plans. Do nothing, do nothing, do nothing. Yes. Basically, I just don't want them attacking with the 4 4 Pteranodon. Sanctuary. Yeah, I guess we don't need many more green sources out there. I don't want them to counter that. They might counter this. But it, it's weird to splash for counter magic. I, I mean, I would do it. <laughs> but it, it's uncommon anyway. And then what? Then what? I mean, do we want to use turn to slag here? We don't really have a good target. Just use a lieutenant.
let's put this on the watchdog. And they know we have the sanctuary now. So I'm just going to pass it. We're not in a big rush. <laughs> They're done. <laughs> when we activate this, the orrery, we just draw three cards. We have to play first, yes. Because we get Sanctum and then the green shrine. Keep it. Yeah, the, um, the white shrine, then the green shrine. And that ramps up to six mana pretty early. We don't have red here. I've, I've just noticed, or we don't have green here. I've just noticed, ooh, Oko. I was playing some casual sealed last night and I opened an Oko. <laughs> of all these packs left over from pre-COVID times. I'm just gonna play this. There's an argument to hold up this next turn, but I think this is fine. Yeah, actually, the turret ogre just beats that anyway. Um, I mean, it might be worth shocking. Well, we'll see. Green, blue, life gain. Life gain doesn't concern me too much. I just take this. Now that's worth killing. Although... They still get some value out of it. Oh, come on. I'm interested in trading off aggressively here, so if they want to give it flying, fair enough. Then I just don't have to deal with it. Oh no! Oh no! And I don't have the mana up. Oh, they just... they got me. They got me. That's a good draw. Just play the big guy here. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one to deal with. Especially if they fight it, or punch it, or whatever it is. Eat it. Silent dart, three damage to a creature, yeah. Not good. Yeah, I, I don't know how we're going to deal with this thing. Double block with pteranodons. I guess we can't. So the play is going to be to try to block it and then use dragon fire at the end of turn. Yeah, cuz now they play something even bigger. Draw three cards. All right. We got we we did it. We we got over it. But that's also going to be tough to beat. We do two damage to something. We got a four mana shock here. Such a good card. Yeah, 
Ooh, that's handy. I actually shouldn't have played Animal Sanctuary here. I don't know, I think I'm fine trading. I'm surprised they didn't trade, actually. Starting to claw back a little bit, unless they bounce our watchdog. I mean, we'll get seven in here. Problem is they just have a ton of mana and a ton of cards. Epitaph Golem. Youch. Ouch, 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 okay. Oh, what now? Frost Breath. You got it. Start here. Then if we draw the mana, we can... No! Oh, it's so awkward. Um, okay. It's not awful, but we're just taking... We're just dead in two, two hits here. I think I need to use the geyser this turn to kill to kill that. I mean that's a that's a decent little first thing here. And this I mean this has to work, and if this doesn't work got no chance. Cancel. Yeah. So now I have to chump the golem and they might have some other frost breath or some kind of thing. So I can chump the golem and then still give a counter to the watchdog. But then I need to draw more good stuff. Capture sphere. They might forget to attack. <laughs> That's new plan. Hope they forget to attack. Yeah, unfortunately we just couldn't keep going. And they drew four extra cards. Okay, all right. We want the Weaver in this matchup. And also these Ogres, although they're not great against the 3-2 Flyers. Even the Mutt might be okay here. We need to cut, I'll cut a Pteranodon. I think the Sanctums are fine. Are we still trying to be a late game deck? Or are we trying to, to beat them super early? Because I, I guess if we want to beat them super early, we want to put in all this stuff and take out the Sanctums. Put in the Mutt, put in, take out Ori, put in Thrill, and Short Sword. Is that enough? Dub, maybe? But if they two for one us, that gets awkward. Yeah, this is really aggressive. I th think it's the direction we want to take it against their deck. Because uh, I can't imagine winning the late game. We have a good late game, but they have counter magic and stuff, which makes it a lot more difficult. But we do have this aggro... I mean, it, it's rock, paper, scissors, right? Aggro beats control, control beats mid-range, mid-range beats aggro. 
and they look more like the control deck. Pride Mulkin, attack for four. Okay. They revealed Lanoir Visionary. One bottom, two top. Yeah, the land for Turret Ogre is really nice here. I'm, I think I'm just going to attack with Pride Mulkin too, without trying to support it at all. And I don't even think they'll block, really. They might. Yeah. What they're going to do is, is frost me down for two turns, and that's fine. Um, we might have enough of an edge here to be OK. But I'm still not a, you know, we should be winning this game. We've been really efficient with our mana. But it's certainly possible we don't. That could be good. Yeah, that wins it, thankfully. Phew. OK. I guess I could have done that before attacking, even, but yeah. All right, we got him. We we rushed them down. Spore web weaver. Yeah, although I'm still not sure we're going to win this match. This is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tough. Oh well. Oh, I should maybe take out a land? No, it's probably fine. Thrill. Ugh. I hate keeping hands like this. I think we keep it, though and hope to draw green. <laughs> Hopefully we draw green. Hmm. I don't feel great about that, but <laughs> we did it. Still, can we win this game? Radiant Fountain. Aren't they a three-color deck? Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Anyway, we still don't have a way to attack with this this turn. And we might not draw a fourth land for a while. See where they scry, and we'll see what they reveal. That's so good. Oh my god, that's so good. It's both our double red and our double white. So what we do here, we don't even need to thrill away anything. We could thrill away Volcanic Geyser. Or save it. I think we save it.
all these cards in our hand are fine. Don't play another blue. Okay, they're playing that land. That's fine. We are going to try to resolve Turret Ogre, which will allow the Pteranodon to attack, unless they tap them both down. But then, oh, okay. 4-4 <laughs> four, four flash creature. No. Good deal, good deal. Capture Sphere. Okay, so that's that's why we put in the Mutt. No! They're just getting everything. So if we draw the land, we can do Mutt. Otherwise, otherwise I don't know what. Try to draw another green source. Yeah, I think we need to... Ugh. Maybe I should have thrilled away a geyser earlier. Man. <laughs> yeah. It was looking so good, but they just dealt with everything in one swoop. Training. I, I, if I had one more mana up here, I could kill that, but I can't now. I guess we don't have to worry about that so soon. All right. Okay. I think things are looking up for us. I think they are. We want the ogre to untap next turn, but we also want to do two things this turn. and potentially attack with the Visionary, although that is kind of the least likely thing to happen here. Unless we used um, Dragonfire to kill the Protege. But then we won't have five minutes. Yeah, this is tough. <laughs> this game's hard. Anyway, we, we know we're playing that. Take another four in the air. Let's just do Mutt this turn. Stupid Teferi and the Protege making it hard for me to attack. Not another ghost light thing, come on. Come on, <laughs> be reasonable. Opt, maybe they're trying to get the land first. One on the bottom, draw, land. They don't have the mana for ghost light. They do have a 4-4 four, four, though, oh and a 3-5. Turn that to slag. Land is good. Land is good here. I want to do Bossery's Acolyte and Scorch the Ghost Light thing. What's the best bet here? Yeah, I think we're going to go Acolyte. Pump up our big guys. Attack with both. And 
and depending on exactly how they block here, we could scorch or we could pump. Is this really what they want to do? It does five. Yeah, this, this is really not what they want to do. Because my thing survives this. Damn. You got it. <laughs> um, yeah, the thing is, they could still just crush me this game. I thought they might have double blocked the ogre. And then we wouldn't beat that on, on board. <laughs> Keen Glide Master, huh? Oh, now they're ready to block. Oh, shoot. Hunter's Edge. Hunter's Edge. So we can gain some life off the Acolyte here. Yes, so foolish opponent. Unless they're holding up Hexproof. If they're holding up Hexproof, I really want to know about it. Nah, it's fine. I think, I think we start with this anyway. They are holding up Hexproof. Um... So I will scorch it, and we still get a counter on the Acolyte, but it's no longer a great attack. Five, they would need to double block it with like two small guys. I think that's fine. Six. Yeah, I think this attack is fine. They don't have many cards left, which is like the main benefit here. Yeah, that's fine. Can we do it? Gnarled Sage. Great. That one we can just brush aside. And one, two, three. I guess we can't really save this. So we brush you aside. Hey, sometimes the best you have is a tree. No shame in that. I can't hold up red. Yeah, what am I thinking? So we turn to slag this thing. And they concede. Or they have hexproof again. <laughs> Last card. Yes! All right. 2 0. Oh. This is the good version of our deck. We start with the bad version of our deck, which is the Sanctum Orrery nonsense. And then when our opponent beats us game one, we switch into the good deck. <laughs> you can't make these hands up. This is great. And they're down to six on the play. Ouch. That's really tough when you're going against something like Pteranodon that you just can't really attack into. Like it's always going to trade with one of your cards. <laughs> right. I wasn't going to say anything, but the, their name is there for... No! Oh my god, how did they F6 so quickly? Alright, classic Bill. I 
I, I f6 on their turn and it registered on my turn. And I f3'd and they had already f6 on my turn. Ridiculous. Okay. I mean, I just have to do this before they can save it. I still might win this game, but I would have easily won the game if that didn't happen. I, sh I shouldn't have asked six twice. That's that's the truth there. Just sometimes, sometimes the lag gets you. Five. Next turn we have five if we have this visionary. It's not gonna be good enough, I think. I, I think we just want the Pteranodon. We just, we just want to trade off here. I could have played the Visionary and just traded that off, but this stops them from attacking with Watchdog, hopefully. <clears throat> yeah. Yikes, okay. So now I think we try to trade Visionary with Charger. And then try to kill the Watchdog with Geyser and then maybe have something left over. Yeah, they don't even want to do that. Bully for them. Yeah, by all rights, I should still win this game, but it would have been, you know, I'd be at like 18 life right now if I didn't do that. It's so stupid. Yeah, do nothing. Make these awful trades. Uh, okay. I mean, they're going to pop out of this mana screw and then start playing bossery's lieutenants and all that stuff. Yeah, well, easy enough double block here. Titanic growth. Three... Hopefully this works. Now they're going to have another feat of resistance. Yes. All right, so I two for one them. Gets me back in, back on top, I guess. Huh. This attack. I don't want to lose my Hobble Fiend just yet. But for some reason, I want to play out all of my cards, even though both of my geysers are used up. Pteranodon, that's a little bit of a problem. Pride Mulkin. What do we put this counter on? I think we put it on Watchdog. And just see them play two cards a turn. We 
Mutt to kill my Sanctum. Well, that's not very nice. Main deck Mutt. God. <laughs> now my Orrery is taken care of, too. Okay, get something here. Yeah, there's something. No, you're kidding me. They did not deserve, they did not deserve all of this. <laughs> Yikes. We had to waste freaking Volcanic Geyser on a 3-2. And now the Mutt is a 6-7. Still not attacking, huh? Stop drawing lands. I'm going to keep playing lands because if I play my Orrery, I want to be able to draw cards with it. We, oh, that was our last chance. No, I think we missed our chance to kill the um, Mutt and the Short Sword. Draw something. Yeah, I guess that is something. Palladium Myrrh. That's a, it's an interesting deck they have. Well, there it is. Um, Seven, and then I draw three. But I think I wait. I wait until they go to kill it with the Brontodon. Oh wow, they're not doing it. Okay. They're gonna wanna do it before I untap. Equip that? Really? If you say so. Because I will kill the heck out of this Brontodon, given the chance. And there's no way. There's no way they're going to let it die. They're just going to use it. Three colors, draw three cards. Oh, they're going to kill my white card? They're going to kill my visionary? Yeah, I mean, I still have three colors. <laughs> I drew nothing. But at least we killed the Brontodon, and we have some more cards to play and drew through these cards. We need to draw our own Sanctuary. And I don't know if we have any good cards left in our deck. I mean, that's okay, I guess. We do have Bossery's Lieutenant, so I kind of want to spread around these counters. It's good Acolyte. Right around the counter. So five, four, do something like this and this. Mm -hmm. 
They're just going to mill us here. They do have enough mana to pump up the Mutt a little more. Two main deck options against artifacts. But, I mean, it, it is worth playing the Mutt. I think I might put in the Mutt against um, Short Sword and Mur, which had land destruction. Oh, that's good. At least it's something. I think we always yield to that until they get like a two power thing. At some point I could just attack them. But yeah, not just yet. Huh, nice. Trying to count. I mean, <clears throat> so we kill two blockers. They kill our biggest three things, let's say. 11. We don't need to do this on their end step. We can kill bigger things if we wait. But uh, if we attack with everything, we could we just die in response. So it's not easy here. I think we need to wait one more turn at least. Save up some lands. Sanctuary, yeah. So we can almost kill three of their creatures. Almost. Okay. Okay, I think it's time. I think it's time. Should we wait one turn? <laughs> okay, so we lose this. We trade off this. We trade off this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We hold back this. Or potentially this and something else. We were pretty sure this is what we were going to do. I need to leave like three blockers though. So how do we work this? We get in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we have this Vigilance guy back. Or can we just win here? We attack with everything. They block this one here and this one here. So nine. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, this is annoying. Ah, whatever. I'm going to go for it. 
I think we I think we can win here. And we do have the watchdog back to block if things go a little too awkward, but we can sacrifice the two things they block. Right? Yeah, they, they can't block the watchdog. Oh my god. <laughs> Can we still win this game by missing a turn and discarding when we were on the draw? <laughs> oh god. Well, yeah, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So let's sacrifice this one. That's 16. Pass. Yes. <laughs> All right. That was the tough game to win. Oh, man. Now what? I think we bring our mutt in. Yeah, we're just, we're just playing on hard mode there. The other out we had was Sanctum. But I, I liked how that worked. That was OK. Bring in our, our own Mutt. It, what does it kill? It kills Short Sword. And it kills their 2-2. I think those are good enough reasons to play it. We could cut a land, but the lands are still good here. Yeah, the extra lands are good. We need to cut something like training. Wow, I really don't know what to cut for it. I guess I could just cut a turret ogre. Seems like that's too good. I'll cut training. Training's good, but we're on the draw, so it's not like that's the key to winning with Tyranodon. All right, I'll take it, I'll take it. Keep this. Try not to F6 too many times here. Good draw. Lieutenant. We haven't played much with the Lieutenant yet. I think it might have shown up one game at the very end. And I don't know if they have many ways of getting this attacking early. Oh, well, there you go. Spoke too soon. Yeah, that that's annoying. But we can turn it to slag pretty soon here. I don't I don't care about this thing. Yeah. Of course if they hold all their mana up, it's a, it's another problem. They're holding up enough to protect it. Gross. 
And because of that, it seems like it might be better to just play Turret Ogre. Yeah, I don't want to just get blown out by a one mana trick here. And I'm happy enough trading Turret Ogre with it. This can kill anything, including maybe Short Sword later. Okay, okay. Maybe they still have it. But I didn't tap out to take seven this turn, so that's another bit of fun. All right, and now we can kill it. Get it out of there. I don't want to block, but I will block the battalion at least. Attacking with both, yeah. Titanic growth, nice. They don't have much else here, so I just need to draw a creature that can kind of survive. That counts. Four, five, six. They've got nothing left. Four. So I go to I literally go to one life here. And they didn't have the thing. Okay, I go to one life. This is a four or five. That if it dies, I can still block something. Four, five, six. They do six, I go to one. But then I have Volcanic Geyser and Hunter's Edge. Or no, not quite. Not quite. But I do have one or the other. The other option is to use geyser here so they attack for five. No, I have to do I have to do lieutenant. So I can block things two turns in a row. Wow. If they drew a uh, oh, dang it. <laughs> yeah, the only way I could have survived here is to play the geyser. Now I just lose on board. Dang it. Good draw, good draw. Yep, well done. It's a tight game. They've got a lot of <clears throat> little annoying stuff. So that means Valorous Steed might be better. I don't know. I think our, our deck is actually pretty good here. A little annoying stuff, to be sure. Ah, whatever. <clears throat> Deck's fine. Next fine, we'll be on the play. These three pteranodons should be able to kind of slow them down if we can get them. Yeah, great hand. It'd be hilarious if they were watching us and they took out their artifacts for the mutt. Because they don't have that many to begin with, and they weren't that good. But the mud, I think, is good enough in this deck. It also gives us another white permanent for the orrery. They're ghosting. Oh, well, everyone's always ghosting, but probably not. <laughs> How many viewers do I have? Are they one of my six viewers here? Probably not. All right, my hand is not getting better fast. Ooh. 
Might as well play something here. Could hold up Shock to try to kill Pteranodon if they can attack with it. They only have one of those in their deck, so we just got really unlucky here. Shoot, that sucks. Wow. This sucks. <laughs> Seventeen land. We can discard Geyser to do one extra damage to something. So I think I have to block the Pteranodon here. I think I have to. What do I discard? Truffle Snout. going on can't can I not use this oh it has to be a land card oh no I didn't have a land <laughs> oh no well that sucks I thought it was any card Stupid sanctum. <laughs> but I get to block the pteranodon here, I guess. Unless they kill this, which they might. Yep. Ah, uh, the only game I should have lost, I won. Nice. Oh, shoot! I needed that to kill Pridemalkin. We don't have double white or double red here. Titanic Growth would do it. That is not what we needed to draw there. It was a good run. That was a sweet deck. Uh, can we rabbit a bit or, or they're not going to let us because the tournament's over? Could have discarded that. You need white here to use it though, so it's hard to use the first turn. Maybe we should have chosen the draw. That sucked though. They killed us with essentially three cards. Anyway, that was fun. Thank you for watching. That's it for me today. I'll catch you later.